Three-year-old Okata plays with his pill bottle like a rattle. He doesn't understand yet that he was born infected with HIV, that he will never know a life without medication, that he is one of the reasons when it comes to health care. Uganda is a country in need. In Uganda, there is just one doctor for every 20,000 people. That means volunteers like Bena are a critical part of the system. Since I tested HIV positive and I was cancelled, I felt I should have done that to others to come out of that uh, problem of feeling like dying. When Management Sciences for Health partnered with the National Committee for Women Living with HIV AIDS, the number of case manager volunteers shot up more than 250 percent. We came and we had to fit into the system. We had to look at things from their angle, from their perspectives, and then we had to tailor our programs to suit the needs of the people. When we come here, you, you, you're not able to tell who is from Star E and who is from this community because for us, we, it's, you know, it's like a family. We do it together. We have a, a wise saying here in Africa, in Uganda in particular, that if you want to catch a thief, set a thief to catch a thief. That's why I thank the team of Star E for coming in to involve people who are living positively with HIV AIDS. Today, we are going to make the follow-ups of the clients who are lost. Lost to follow-up. It's a new initiative of the STAR E project to track patients like Okata. After a year of treatment, he vanished. This is for Okata, and this is the box where we found Okata's file. Bena removes Okata's file from the deceased pile, and her search begins. Already, almost 90% of the 381 lost patients have been found. For me, that's a huge success. There are serious cultural barriers to overcoming many health care problems in Uganda, especially family planning. Radio shows, sporting events, and community theater are ways MSH, through the STRIDES program, is trying to change perceptions and, more important, behaviors. We partner with the, the hospitals or health centers to enhance the, the level of health education. In village after village, huts overflow with small children that parents can't afford to feed, educate, or protect from disease. Here, a mother surrounded by her sons and daughters, and only coffee beans from the garden and a small shop to support them. She knew nothing about family planning until a village health team, a public-private partnership, counseled her. Before at the clinic, ideally in a month, they get around the client load of 40 in a month. But now on strides coming on board, this figure has more than doubled to around 110 on average per month. For healthcare to work on the local level means it has to work at the national level. We work with the uh, MSH in the basically from the time of planning. We plan together, uh, we monitor together, and of course we have to set priorities together. Priorities like sustainability, effectiveness, efficiency, 
transparency. They are all hallmarks of Rosemary Catone's drug shop in Western Uganda. But it wasn't always this way. There was a time when Rosemary sold drugs illegally. The most common source of health care outside of the household is the least talked about, the least researched, and the least improved, and that's the drug sellers. I'm taking the temperature. I want to know it because they have given paracetam. I don't know why it was given. The first place people go outside of the household is they walk down the street and buy medicine somewhere. Typically what they get is small amounts of poor quality drugs, the wrong drug at a high price. So I got this one first after the training, which was for two weeks in 2009. National Drug Authority accreditation came with pharmaceutical supply training and means good quality essential medicines are here. And it didn't take long for word to reach the community. Across the country, the search for Okata continues. When the case managers here and the health workers couldn't see him for about three months, I think, they got concerned and started asking other clients who come from the same locality. And the client said, but we've, we've been told he's dead, he has died. Then one day, in a search of a nearby village, Okata, hey. Okata is found living with his grandmother. Now back in treatment, he has a chance of survival. Other places, I would go and find the, 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 the ones I follow up dead. So when I came and I asked, they told me the child was there. I was so happy. I said, ah, I think I've succeeded. Uganda is a country that for decades was once devastated by political and civil turmoil. But today, how the country is strengthening its national health system is a model for other developing countries. For MSH, it is a success story 40 years in the making. Every year, 10 million men, women, and children die around the world from conditions for which we have safe, effective, affordable prevention and treatment. The problem is not science and technology, and the solution is not more science and technology. The solution is building strong health systems that actually deliver the prevention and treatment that we know about. Got a row, you've got a row.